Okay, so let's discuss about our first DLRS criteria. What do we want to do here? We want to count how many Facebook Messenger cases each contact have, right? So, first you define the parent object. The parent object is where you want to have the information on. In this case, the contact object. The child object is the object where you are doing the counting on. For this case, is the case object because we are counting how many cases does each contact have, right? So you're counting the cases, the case records, and you put the information on the contact record. So for this example, the contact is John Doe, and you want to know how many Facebook Messenger cases does John Doe have? Is it five? Is it 20? Is it 50? So therefore, you are counting the case records and put the total number onto the parent object, which is the contact object, all right? So far, so good. So what is the relationship field? This field is the lookup field that is on the child object looking up into the parent object, okay? So the object you are counting is the case, right? What is the field on the case object that's pointing to the contact object? Is the contact ID um, field. Okay, so you use this contact ID field. So if I flip onto the object manager and I go to the case here, we have case on here. If I look up contact on the case object, you have contact as a lookup, right? But the relationship field is the contact ID, right here. The contact name, field name is contact ID, lookup contact. This is actually the field name that we were looking for, not this one. This is redundant. So the contact ID is the lookup to the contact record. So therefore, we are using the contact ID as the relationship field. Okay, moving on. So what is the relationship criteria? So this is the circle statement. So pretend that this is a circle query. Okay, so basically you're, you're writing a circle query. So where, this is the where clause. So basically um, select records um, from the case object, right? where Facebook ID is not null and contact ID is not null, right? And the relationship field is the contact ID. What is the relationship criteria fields? This is the fields that are being used on the relationship criteria. You basically write this down. This is the same Facebook ID, underscore, underscore C, and contact ID, right? Because these two fields are being used, you have to list them on here, all right? Okay, so far so good. So, roll up details, field to aggregate. Which field are you counting? Are you adding up a particular field like the amount or whatever you're, you're adding together. Because right now we are just wanting to count, right? We are just wanting to count how many records or how many cases. So I was just using the ID field. I just wanna count how many records, right? If you can, you can order the field to aggregate if you want to order it. And then 
we are basically counting for now you can select from these options but we are just counting right and then this is important as well where do you want to put the count on which field so aggregate result field we will put this on the parent object so this field have to exist on the parent object right so you're counting how many cases this contact have say 20 cases so where do you want to store the 20 the number 20 where do you want to store it you have to create a new field to put that number into in this case facebook messenger cases so this is on the contact object you have to create this first so if i go to the contact object now go back to object manager if i search my contact object and go here field and relationships and i'm just going to search facebook facebook messenger cases is a number field so this field doesn't exist right so i purposefully create this field so that I can use this field to put the count so before you actually can use this you have to create the field first so create this field on the parent object first which is the contact object right now then you can store the counting in here all right so i'm just going to discuss what i'm using case by case so the ones that's blank i'm not even going to mention it because it's just going to confuse you all right so and then make sure you active activate this but before you activate this you have to manage the child trigger first all right so the first time you create a new uh, lookup rollup summary you can't activate this yet you can't right you have to create the trigger first by clicking manage child trigger when i click that it's already deployed but when you first create it it will say you don't have this child trigger yet you can deploy the child trigger so then you deploy the child trigger it takes a while so you can remove and then you can redeploy it okay so if you deploy it the first time it takes a few minutes okay so bear with that so i'm gonna go back now so first you have to manage and deploy the child trigger and then you can activate it before deploying the child trigger you will not be able to activate it all right so um this calculation mode is real time you can schedule it like you want to calculate this rule every what every day every week every month or you can define other processes here but for me mostly i'm just using it real time meaning so a new case is created for john doe after the case is created the number of facebook messenger cases will be updated in real time so it's going to be uh, updated in real time that's uh, what i need so i'm using a real time but you can also use scheduled or developer or a process builder there so calculation sharing mode you can share with the user or the system i usually use the system because it's usually a global wide calculation but if you want to use sharing mode of the user so the user's sharing or permissions will be used when calculating it so whatever record the user are not allowed to see they will not be able to add them or count them right so for this i'm using system because i'm calculating everything so that's basically it and then once you're done you can do a full calculate to calculate the whole thing and then you can schedule it you can run it once a day or once a week or once a month depending how often do you want to know this number and how often do you want to get this number updated right i've talked about manage child trigger and that's basically it 
you save it and you can run it and now every time a new case is assigned or created for John Doe this number will get updated and it will be stored on the Facebook Messenger cases field. That's it. So I will see you on the next video for the next use case. Pada bing, pada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank <laughs> you.